Okay, now I'm back again. Well, okay, I left off here uh, where I had my error. DLC saying transcoding files cannot open a H264 video encoder. And uh, I said, I said, you know, well, yeah, okay, all my, all my encoders use H264, so I guess I have to close OBS. And, uh, <clears throat> well, that didn't work. Uh, I went ahead and tried it again. Got the same error again. Uh, Unable to open text log files. Well, I didn't do that yet because I thought, okay, maybe I need to close OBS. Got it again. Same error again. I'll have to go figure out where the log files for OBS is. That was the end of all that. All right. So, but what I remembered was I made videos of doing this already. So that does work when I'm running over. Then I got to thinking, okay, you know, I ran that script, that VLC recording script, and then uh, <clears throat> it uh, never did do anything. You know, it was supposed to be encoding, but it didn't do it. Um, let's look in that script. I don't know if it, I think it, yeah, it was using H264. For the conversion, uh, uh, my OBS studio is running fine. I uh, uh, played a little bit of the previous video and uh, fine. But it does use H.264 somewhere in there. It, it says H.264. Yeah, there it is. Lib H.264. So. Uh, I think that's got it hung up, that script. You know, when I closed that command line, the last time it hung up, when I closed the terminal window, it said something's running, you know, do you want to close it anyway? And I said, yes. Because, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's it's hung up and I couldn't type anything, any commands in the command line anyway. I guess I could have hit uh, something to maybe try to get out. Well, I'd already hit Control-C for this cancel. I think Control-C stands for cancel. Uh, C for cancel. They always say to quit, but it could, there is a control Q and it quits. I know that I've used it in the program. Control C, I guess, is cancel, but it should bring about this, this right here, this readout, and it's supposed to hit enter to make it do the encoding, but that's not part's not working. So, uh, and I have one clue as to why it might be hanging up, besides it maybe being old. Uh, because you know that page was this was below that other portion about the GUI way of doing it. Uh, I figure it's all back in the days when Yum was the package manager or when it was all written. I, there'd be a date on there. I don't remember if there was or not on that. Most pages have a date somewhere. Anyway, <clears throat> and a date of the post too. You know, if it's like a bunch of forum page like that. But um, what I'm trying to say is. Um, that and uh, the age may be a problem, things may have changed, but also I'm running Mate Desktop, which is a fork of Genome 2. It, so there are some differences, you know, in how things work between Genome 3 and Genome Shell, or Genome 3, and the way your, your shell works in Genome 2 or Mate, you know, now, or in, uh, <clears throat> you know, probably any other normal, I call it a normal shell, but anyway. Um, whatever you're supposed to call it. <clears throat> so uh, I guess I just kind of thought that was cool, but it's not probably ready. For, it's not uh, the right thing for my system. Mate desktop, don't. What am I going to get? Um, I had no trouble until t just now. And, and what I noticed was, back again, the reason I, what I noticed was when I um, went to close the terminal it didn't pop it didn't it didn't pop up a little message saying are you sure you want to close it it just closed so i think it didn't kill that any libx running I'm afraid i'm going to have to have a reboot uh, to straighten it all back out i'm going to try it one more time it may it may i closed vlc completely and all that and uh, make sure it's not running. Yeah, sure that's not running.
The only thing that's 264. Two, I don't know why 264 by itself brings up OBS and then <laughs> H264. Maybe that's part of its uh, head is process ID. I don't have this. This doesn't have process ID in it. But the, I don't know what it could be. It could be something else. Some numbers. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, I'll try it one more time because it did work perfectly. Do it again. Start and save. We're going to add a file. Okay. Now that one there is the one that I that worked fine, but it doesn't have any audio. When I did through the G drive. I don't know. There should be a way to get audio through the G. And then show more options. Play another media along with it. Then you do your audio. Select. Then I'm going to hit convert. Oh, I want convert and save. Let's convert and save. Now we need to file. And change that to MP4. Convert and save dot, dot MP4. All right, now this time let's see. Now, oh, it does it anyway. I don't think there's anything wrong with that file, but this did happen to me the first time I tried to uh, make one. Uh, oh, when I when I did it by double double clicking on the executable on the script, uh, yeah, that that script, well, a different one, the other one, the first one, but one like that. Um, I didn't have a way to gracefully stop it, and the wave turned out fine, but the MP4 was broken. But this MP4 is not broken. This is the original MP4. It should be just a silent video. Yeah, there it is. It's fine. So, this got me kind of confused there. Uh, let's see. Now, I didn't listen to it back yet. But it... Oh, hey, Don here. Work okay, trying out a desktop, a VLC oh. desktop recording script. This is, yeah, the audio was converted, but the video didn't work. So, I don't know why that's hanging up. And I don't feel like messing with it. I mean, you could do it with other programs. I don't know if I have any, but. Transcode, vert, bitmap, pick and oh, I don't think I have, uh, I can't remember name of one of the really cool programs that was transcode, encode, um, you'd think I would have it as much stuff as I, I installed all the audio video groups. When I built this system, can't think of the name of the one. A lot of times, you gotta know the name of the program in order to find it too. With the this is XFCE App Finder, and, and I'm not running the. I don't even think I have the XFCE desktop installed. I just have a few of the programs I like, like App Finder. Okay, let's look at sound capture and import. Really wondering why it doesn't work that'd be really crazy i'm using the one all the lapel mic was on but it was muted so it was going through the system i was gonna say i'm not talking on the sm58 like i usually do third line in but that should i'm through the mic channel you know the mic input with the lapel marks, but no, that would. <clears throat> Let's see. Of course, you could always use a video editor, but I'm not going to get that serious about it. I mean, you see how fast it does it. It's not much slower to do audio and video when it's not a real long file, like a real big file. 
there is a program. I'm trying to remember if it even runs on Fedora, though. I know I put it on a, the Bane's on my laptop because at the time. Maybe it only does the one that's really cool, really fast, lots of options, but easy to figure out for converting videos. Uh, and I think you can take a separate audio and video file, just like I'm doing here. But I think what it is is something, I, I really think it's like I said, I think something got to whacked out. Uh, I think that H.264 is hung up by that that failed process when I close the terminal window. So all I can do is reboot my machine. I'm going to stop this video and just do that.